Hey guys, it's Salem and welcome back to my channel or welcome if you are new here. So today I'm going to be doing some first impressions. So I recently uh, got some stuff from Sephora. If you didn't check out my Sephora haul, what are you doing? It's on my channel and I picked up some makeup that I wanted to test out in today's video. So I'm going to be doing that today. And yeah, there's some good products in this video. Spoiler alert. So without further ado, let's just jump straight into it. Let's test out some makeup. So I'm mainly going to be testing out the products from my Sephora haul. If you haven't seen it, I'll link it down below or up here. I did a Sephora haul and I got quite a few good goodies. So I'm going to be testing the makeup today from that haul. And then also I do have another product, which isn't from Sephora, that I want to test. Actually two. So first, I'm going to be starting off with powder. Now I did just put foundation on and some concealer. I used the e.l.f. Camo concealer. And and the two products I'm going to be going into from my Sephora haul, which I'm so excited to test out today, are these two. And these are both setting powders for underneath the eyes. One is from Rare Beauty, which is the Always an Optimist Soft Radiance Powder. And I got mine in the shade Light, which looks like a really, really, really nice kind of pinky shade. And then I also got this one, which probably I'm more excited about this one. This is the One Size Beauty by Patrick Star Ultimate Setting Powder. And apparently this is supposed to be very blurring and very smoothing. And this one is a little more on the kind of yellow side. So let's go ahead and test them out. So I'm going to do one on one side, see which one I prefer, see how it looks. So first, let's go in with the One Size Beauty. And I'm going to open up this bird boy. So it comes like this. Ooh, ooh, I like that. I actually really like the cap on it. One Size Beauty by Patrick Star, and it looks really nice. So let's go ahead and see. Ooh, it's very bright. Very, very bright. That's actually not that bad. I really like that. It, it reminds me of the Laura Mercier translucent powder. I'm going to go back in with a little bit more just to really see. Okay, this is nice and bright and it's definitely nice and soft. It's like a soft matte finish. It looks soft underneath the eyes. Doesn't look drying. Does it look blurring? No. My under eyes just look like they're set but it does look nice and smooth. And I do like that it provides me with a little bit of brightness. Yeah, I actually really like it. I think for like an everyday set, it's nice. It feels very comfortable underneath the eyes and it also looks really, really nice and like smoothing. Not blurring, but smoothing. Let's go ahead and try out the Rare Beauty side. Oh my God, I'm excited for this one as well. So apparently this one is supposed to be give more of a glow. And this one has like a twist cap thingy. You just twist it and then you just close it to lock it. That's very like peachy pink, whereas the one size booty is more yellow and translucent. So this one's gonna be interesting to see if it's gonna be too pink. Oh. Mm. Kind of has like little shimmers in it. Ever so slightly, ever so slightly. It definitely looks radiant. Now, if I if I compare them, I like the Rare Beauty a little more in terms of the finish because I feel like it just makes me look a little more awake, a little more kind of radiant. And this side is a little more flat looking, but I like the feel and maybe the color slightly more from the one side. So it's kind of like, I like both of them if they were to have a baby, but I, I really, I can't make my mind up on which one I like more. So you guys have to let me know in the comments which one you think looks best. I think I love them both equally, for sure. Like I, I like them for different reasons. Does that make sense? So the blush from Sephora I got is from LYS Beauty. And this is the highest standard satin matte cream blush. And this is in the shade Kindness. And love the packaging by the way, but this is in the shade Kindness, which is like a nice peachy, soft, corally shade. It's stunning, absolutely pretty. Never tried this brand before, so this is my first time. And I thought, why not go in with like a nice peachy cream blush? And I don't really own a lot of peach cream blushes. So let's just go right in. Okay, picks up a lot. And let's just go ahead, see how it blends. Okay, I'm really liking this shade. It's definitely a matte cream blush. It doesn't have like any dewiness to it. I can see as I'm blending it out, it does dry down. I will say though, when you buff it 
into the skin, you kind of lose a little bit of that color. So I'm gonna go back in with a little bit more. It's definitely matte. So I kind of like that, I guess. Because not every liquid blush has to be dewy. I feel like you have to go in with a little bit more if you really want to make it opaque because you do lose the color when you're blending it. But apart from that, it's definitely dried down completely, completely. Um, so I like that. So it was a great cream blush, maybe for summer, especially if you don't want it to like be all dewy and, you know, slip and slide throughout the day. So, ooh. Now let's move on into eyes. I do have a few eye products. Now I do have this, which isn't from Sephora, but it's brand new from iHeart Revolution and it's their Dr. Seuss um, collection. This is the Green Eggs and Ham Eyeshadow Palette. And I really want to test this out. So I picked this up recently because it's new and this is what it looks like. Look at the packaging, oh, it's so cute. This is literally, if you'd love packaging, you have to have this. So these are the colors really nice like bronzy shades so i'm going to be playing around with this palette today but also i have these two products that i want to test out we have the kaja crystal moon sparkling eye pigment in the shade tiger's eye and it's kind of like a bronzy taupe and then i have the bobby brown long wear eyeshadow stick in golden bronze that i got from sephora as well look how pretty that is Ooh. so i don't know what i'm using yet but let's first go in with this shade right here let me know if you guys have picked up anything recently and if you have, what makeup products did you pick up? I am all about buying the latest things this year. Like I'm just, I just want to be on it. Like it's annoying because sometimes um, products aren't released in the UK and they are released in other countries first. So the UK is last to get it and then it's like, I'm the last to review, which is so annoying. And that's the only problem with reviewing makeup it's like you know the makeup products don't come out in time so it's hard to review them on time next i'm going to go into this orange shade and so far i'm absolutely loving loving the pigmentation and the way it blends no problems whatsoever and you know i mean that's so pigmented it blends so effortlessly and I've never really had a problem with iHeart Revolution. I've had a problem sometimes with Makeup Revolution, but not iHeart Revolution. Even though it, it's so weird though, because it's the same company. So before I go back into the palette, let's go into one of these. I think I'm gonna leave the Kaja one for another time because I really, really wanna try this out. So this is the Bobbi Brown one, and I'm just gonna go ahead and put it straight on my eyes. Please be good. Ooh. Oh, okay, so it's not really bronze. It's kind of like taupe. It's like a chocolate silvery taupe. But the name is Golden Bronze. I honestly thought it was going to be a lot more like bronzy and gold and a lot more warmer, but this is definitely more on the cool tone side. It goes on really easily, smooth, very creamy, and it blends so nicely. You get so much time to just kind of play around with it, wiggle around with it. So it's a really pretty shade. I'm just a little bit disappointed. I think I really hyped up this shade in my mind and I thought it was just gonna be the most sparkly, like bronzy, warm, golden shade. And it kind of is just a little dull looking. It's not as sparkly as I thought it would be. It's kind of like just a normal cream shadow. It's got a little bit of like this glistening effect, but nothing crazy. Hmm. I like it, but I'm not crazy about it. So I am gonna go into this shade right here, this bronzy shade with my finger. Oh, it feels so creamy, look at that. That's exactly what I thought the cream shadow stick was gonna be. Like, look, this color on the bottom literally is the, is the wrong shade. Like, look at that. That's what I mean. I thought it was gonna be a lot more golden bronze like the name suggests. Oh my God. Feel like I've been ripped off but this oh yes this is what I mean can you see the difference absolutely love oh my gosh love 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 this shade love how creamy and buttery it is oh my gosh it's just gliding on and it has a lot of shine next I'm going to take this shade right here which is a beautiful kind of golden champagne -y peach brightening shade 
yes yes just to give myself a little pop of brightness i'm sorry if i haven't like done my nails in a long time it's because i had covid which most of you guys know and i have to have readings every three days to check my oxygen and um the little machine that i use you're not supposed to wear nail polish or have nails on so yeah, I check my. I have to have my oxygen checked every three days because I do have a heart condition. So this is the brand new Max Stack Viral Mascara that's blowing up all over the internet, and I'm going to be doing a separate video on this. And this will be going up first, so you guys have already seen this, and then this video is second. So literally, this is already up on my channel. So go and see it. I'm going to be reviewing this now. Let's move on into lips. So for lips, I have two products right here. So the first one is the Dior lipstick. I know, fancy. This is the Dior Refillable Couture Color Lipstick. And this and this is in the shade Rose Mon Montaigne. And it's number 219. Love the packaging. Really nice and simple. And this is it right here, which says Dior right there. And it's a pretty like peachy pink. Oh my god, it feels like so balmy. It feels like a lip balm. It smells very strong of perfume, like old granny perfume. Is this a my lip but better kind of colour? I think so. It's literally matching my lips. Enhancing them. Mmm. Wow. Love the feel of it. It feels very balmy, feels a little oily, a little bit slippery. Very, very oily and slippery, I will say. But I love the colour and I love the natural shine it's giving off. I do feel like if you eat and drink, oh my god, instantly this is going to come off. But I just love the way it makes my lips look. It looks very juicy, very just nice looking, like looks kissable. Does that make sense? It looks... Mm, it looks kissable. I love that it gives this natural glow and shine without having a gloss. I really like that. Expensive, but I really like that. So let's top it off with this product, which I have been dying to try as well. And I've been wanting for a while. It's the Tower 28. First time trying anything from this brand. Tower 28 Milky Lip Jelly in the shade Oat. So this is basically a lip gloss. And the shade Oat, I believe, is the lightest one. And this is what it looks like. So it's a really nice, literally, like same kind of shade peachy gloss that's what it looks like it looks so shiny so shiny and very peachy oh my god it literally feels like oil as well like kind of slippery it just feels oily but when I say oily, I mean it in a good way. Like, it just feels very comfortable, very moisturising. Not sticky whatsoever. It's very thin. It's a very sheer colour. Um, it does, you know, it has, like, payoff. But it's not overly pigmented. And I like my glosses to be a lot more pigmented. But it still gives a little bit of a tint. And then this really, really high shine glossy finish. I would definitely, definitely get more of these in different shades. I think this is great for, like, a everyday gloss yeah absolutely love it love the way my lips feel so and that's a really great little combination that is pretty much it i do have you know a few other things that i didn't test like the kaja one and then i do have the bobby brown mascara which i didn't try today so maybe i'll put those in another like first impressions everything apart from i would say the cream blush is not like a complete must i think if you want to get it you can it's affordable on the affordable side of high end and um yeah it's really pretty but i feel like it's not something you have to go and get instantly. Same with the Dior lipstick as well. If you were to get something, get one of the powders, either the Rare Beauty or the One Size. The little eyeshadow palette, I love. I absolutely love. So definitely get that. And the gloss. Get the gloss as well. So that is it for trying out the makeup I bought recently. Let me know what you guys think. Give this video a thumbs up. And I hope everyone is staying safe. And until next time, I'll speak to you guys all in my next video.